Well, uh, last weekend, a bunch of uh, YouTube woodworkers made uh, bookends. So I'm going to um, design some uh, quick and easy bookends to make and kind of add to their uh, all the videos they made. So I'm going to start by going to the front. Let's get the, what is this called, the rectangle tool. Now, of course, I'm going to be using cedar fence pickets, and they are going to be 5 8 inch thick by 6 inches tall. Scroll the mouse so I can zoom in. Now, these are 5 8 inch thick. I want the bottom here to be at a 45 degree angle, so I'm sure there's a proper way to do it, but I just go up. 5 8 inch, get the line tool, go from there to there, a space bar to get back to the um, arrow tool, select it, delete, get rid of these two lines. Let's turn around to the back, space bar, click P for push pull, and we want 5 8 inch, and then let's go back to the front view triple click uh, what is not right about this oh you know what we want 5 8 inch thick I want uh, 5 inches so control Z for undo click P for push pull and let's make this 5 inches Space, triple, let's try again. Triple click, G for component. There we go. So the idea is it is five inches wide. That's because the uh, fence pickets are five and a half inches. And that way I can uh, cut a quarter inch off each side, make sure everything's straight and square. Now let's space bar, let's pick this, and we're going to rotate it. Now you know what? Let's make a copy first. So uh, M for move. Control makes a little plus come up for copying. And shift. I'm going to grab this corner here. Shift holding down. Left click. Move it over. Okay. Now we'll rotate it. Pick this bottom corner up to the top corner. 90 degrees. Spacebar, but right click. See, this is blue, so I think if we flip along blue, yeah, um, no, it went that way. Control Z. So let's try flipping on red. Flip along red. There we go. Now click it, and for move, I'm going to grab this corner and match it up to that corner. And there we go. It's the beginnings of a bookend. Okay, let's get our circle tool, and then we're going to go up three inches, and then let's get our line tool, go that to the corner, to the corner, now I should be able to highlight that and delete it, and delete it. And that's not what we want to do. What am I thinking of? Okay. Start here. Let's go up four inches. And then we'll do the line tool. Um, highlight that section, delete. Okay, now we'll go up three inches. And same thing with the line tool, spacebar, and then highlight, delete. Get rid of that one, delete. Let's get the center section, delete. And there we go. Rotate to the back. 
or to the inside actually. Spacebar, click it, P for push pull, it will come out 5 eighths inch. Triple click, make it a component, G for component. And then we're going to M for move. We want to hit uh, control or adding another one. I'm going to grab this corner here and we're going to pull it to here. But we want to hold down the shift key so we go along the green axis axis and there we go um oh we got this line that pulled over from here let's see if i can highlight it okay let's double click grab that line there delete grab that line there delete and that should let's uh, hide this one and see yeah since these are copies i should deleted that there so edit, unhide all, and then let's go back to the front view. Rotate a little bit, control A, we'll select all, M for move, and once again we want to hit control for copy, shift, move it over here, hand tool move over so we can see it. And the uh, arrow tool, right click, flip along red, I believe, is what should work. And there we go. And then, uh, of course, if I'm going to paint it, I'm going to paint it with my true traditional colors, which is cherry and wood floor light. Close that. Use the wheel. Let's hide the axes. And there we go. Some uh, quick and easy, I don't know about easy, but quick uh, bookends. And uh, it, down in the description will be a link to the video of me actually making these out of wood. But um, that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.